quick story time, guys. So, a few years back, I was getting ready to make a trip, um, about a 500 mile trip with some of my children. And it just seemed like every time I tried to get on the road, something happened, something was delaying us, and it just was one thing after another. And so my frustration level was, you know, kept increasing and I kept getting more aggravated um, that we just were supposed to be on the road like two hours previous and now my time was delayed. And so we make one final run through the house and I said to one of the kids, hey, go make sure that this bag um, is, you know, pulled in, in, in the car and so forth and so on. So we get um, to driving. I get on the... Um, get off of the exit that I'm supposed to be get, getting off of and uh, cross the toll booth and realize that I'm looking for something and so I said to one of the kids can you grab whatever I need out of that bag and so they went fishing um, but couldn't find what I was looking for because we didn't have the bag so it was like a 20 minute time frame for me to get from where I was at to get to the next um, exit for me to even turn around to go back home. So now my frustration level is 30 fold and I'm, I'm just beyond mad and aggravated. And so I get all the way back to my house, which was in essence from the time I left, you know, the whole thing was probably an extra hour. Grab the bag that was supposed to originally have been grabbed to begin with and get back on the road. When I went to take the same route that I went to take originally, there was some sort of fiasco. I cannot remember what, I guess some sort of accident. And so I said, you know what, this is ridiculous. Let's just take the back way. When I went to take the back way and change my directions, my whole phone froze um, to the point where I could not pull up the directions. I had to pull off to the side of the road and it took me, I'm not kidding you, an additional 20 minutes to keep playing with my phone and shut it down and turning it back on and so forth and so on. And I'm like, what is going on? And now even the kids are like, okay, mom, this is kind of getting weird. Like, what is, are we not supposed to go on this trip or what? Um, so I finally get my um, phone up and running and now it's fully functional. It has the new directions on it and we are, you know, traveling finally. But mind you we've had a maybe two and a half to three hour delay so as we're coming down the road you know I'm I'm calm now I'm a little bit calmer and I said to the kids listen when this stuff happens God sometimes is telling you slow down there is a reason for this delay uh, possibly if you were traveling at that same entire and speed that you were at you know maybe you would have been into an accident um, and so maybe you're being prevented from something like that as I'm telling this to the kids, um, I went to hit the button to change like the radio, but instead my, my finger must have hit like where you can scan. And so it came in between, I guess, two stations. And all of a sudden, me and, you know, all the kids hear this little tiny voice, like a child's voice, saying, it is very important that you stop and pray right now stop what you're doing and pray and I looked at the kids and the kids looked at me and all of a sudden the next thing we hear is a group of children starting to say the Hail Mary and so we immediately started praying um, with these children and we continued um, the prayers which was three and then all of a sudden the radio um, gained a lot of static and we couldn't hear anything and the station almost kind of like disappeared. So my moral to the story is that if you are delayed for whatever reason, don't get aggravated because there is an absolute reason God is preventing you um, from going forward and you don't know. We can't see into the future. Only God can. And so take it and say, rather than getting mad or aggravated, say, thank you, God. Thank you for preventing whatever it was that you prevented and, and um, 
keeping me safe and my children safe in our journey. And wow, the power of prayer. And so that is the power of God. Like he literally, you know, these children came through my radio and said, stop and pray. And so, um, by the way, the, the whole rest of the journey was, uh, eventless. Um, we got to our destination safe and everything was fine. And I make that a test to our Lord and getting us there safely. So next time you're on a journey or even just getting ready for work and you can't find your keys or you come out and there's a flat tire or anything that's going to delay you, stop and say, thank you, God, for protecting me from whatever it was that I was about to encounter. All right, everybody have a blessed day.